What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I have got some more mystery packs for you today. So I have these ones, uh, they're 200 yen each, but uh, I bought them until I got the last one. So I think we have 16 if I counted correctly. Uh, so we have those. We also have, I just thought this is not really much for a video, so I thought I'd just throw them in here. I got these, uh, it's like a well, calling it a mystery cube is generous. There's like there's this many cards in there, but I got two of these. And um, as you can see, they have a couple of SRs in each one, which is pretty nice for 500 yen. Uh, so I thought that would be pretty interesting just to see. I assume all the other cards in there are just normal cards. Who knows? But we got a couple of, uh, of bonus things today. So let's open these ones first. I'm just, I never bought these before. So I'm curious to see what we actually get in here, but it's 500 yen. We get two SRs. That's pretty good, honestly. All right. Well, I can see the middle card anyway. All right. Anyway, let's go to Chiyu SR, which I don't have. Seems to be all right condition. So nice. And then we get oh, some of the cards are facing. Okay, some of the other cards are facing the other way. All right, so we do get hollows in here. Gyarados, Mewtwo, Tyranitar, and uh, what's he called? Palafin, is always called. All right, let's have a look at these other ones. All right, we get some trainer cards. Oh, we got a reverse Cynthia. That's cool. And a couple of random trainer cards. And then we have got Diddy Incineroar, which I didn't have either of these EXs, I'm pretty sure, as full arts, which is why I bought that. So I feel like for 500 yen, that's a pretty good deal, honestly. It's just not very mysterious, because you can already see what you're going to get in there. So... But still a good deal. All right, so we get Nimona, which surprisingly cheap. I have a few of her. Mm, this one's a bit dented up. Okay, so not in perfect condition. And then this one, we're gonna have a few more. All right, Basque Legion, regular card. Oh, we got a reverse. Uh, What's it called? Escape Rope. Curum. All right, and then we get just random normal cards. Okay, interesting. And then we have got you, which I don't actually know your name. I know you're called Nanami in Japanese. When I pulled this out of 151, when it came out, it was worth like 50 bucks. Um, so it's obviously fallen off a bit, but I mean, it costs us a thousand yen for all that. I feel like that's a pretty good deal honestly anyway let's go to the mystery packs so don't know what to expect from these they're only 200 yen not too much i would say but it's like stuck in my hand all right so i i guess that's probably the baseline is getting a an ex or something next all right we got a reverse articuno which i think i have that already and quack quack quacks a quelve quacks a quelve of all. all right, I wonder if we'll get anything different to mix it up a bit. All right. Ooh, Pidgeot. Do I have a Pidgeot reverse from 151? I don't know. Oh, we got a uh, Pikachu from the 25th anniversary set. That's cool. Take that. We got the last one card, so it should be something decent. Radicate. I don't know if I have that either. We'll have to check. Ooh, we got an actual EV Heroes Vaporeon. That's cool. Take that. Oh, I opened it the wrong way. Reverse energy. Maybe they're just not all the, <laughs> the same way. I don't know. All right. Next one. B drill, which I don't know if I have that either. We'll have to check. And a Corridon EX. 
I would prefer to get some like art rares or baby shinies if possible. I don't know if that there is anything like that in there. All right, we got a Moltres. Oh, we got a Coridon again. All right, can we get anything interesting out of these ones? Okay, we're getting the the whole Scarlet and Violet starter trio. Alright, so we've got a few more to go. I don't know if there's any, like, good cards apart from the last one. Oh, we got a Squirtle promo. That's cool. Pokemon Go promo. And we got the, uh, Will Chien. I don't know why, but the names are slightly different in Japanese. This is Chion Jin. And, like, pa Chien Pao is called Pao Chien and stuff. It's weird. I don't know why it's... It's unusual. Usually for like legendary Pokemon, it's just the same. We got the Snatch Arm, which I don't know if I have that reverse. And we got Surfing Pikachu. That's cool. Chunky boy. It's very round. I am happy with those kind of things. That's a little bit different. It's not so common. So that's nice. Toxtricity in every video. We got Celebi V Max. That's kind of cool. All right, we got a few more to go, and then we get our nice last one card. Porygon Z, and we got Alakazam. I do like a nice Arita art, and that is a very distinctive art style. I do like that, and I do like Alakazam. I remember having a not having a moth, but I had a... Oh, we did get something different. All right. We got an art rare. That's cool. Persimian. We, um... Not we. I, in my Pokemon Blue back in the day, had a Abra that I caught and got up to a level 100 Alakazam, and he was one of my, my main guys in my team, along with Venusaur, and I can't remember really who else. I just really remember the Alakazam, catching the Alakazam and the Abra and raising it up. All right, we got the Monkey... I've been playing a bit of the um, the Loyal 3 on um, on Pokemon Live, and all the EXs of all the other ones are useful in the deck, but I've never really seen anyone playing this one. I'm playing the, what is he, Monkey Dory, the, um, just the regular one where you can move the damage from your side to the other side, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like he is not really... So, I actually never seen anyone playing him online. So, yeah, interesting. We got Aerodactyl. All right, we got to check the 151 binder later. All right, Serena. Some of these are a little bit old. All right, this is the last one. Should be something good in here. I could see something textured. All right. Did he? Oh, all right. We take that. Rayquaza V Max CSR with Zinnia. That is a nice card. Definitely not as good as the um, the big boy one that I pulled one time, which was worth like two grand. Um, but pretty good. Anyway, I think the, these ones were definitely better value. Just, but I mean, the I don't know the Rayquaza. I don't know how much it's worth these days. Probably a, a few thousand yen, so pretty good. But, um, you know, it's 200 yen mystery packs, so that's pretty good for a, a prize out of there, honestly. Anyway, let me know your thing, guys. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.